I was on the Laura Ingram show uh, talking about this nationally. And I thought if you missed it, we'd just play a, a, a few minutes of it. Joining us now, the man who co-authored Arizona's immigration law. He is a candidate for Kansas Secretary of State. He hosts a fantastic show. All right, welcome back to the Chris Kobach Show here on KCMO Talk Radio 710, where we're talking about the recent statements by the Justice Department claiming that uh, sanctuary cities are just fine. Oh, no problem with those. Cities that actually refuse to follow federal law and violate federal prohibitions against sanctuary policies. Oh, but Arizona, that's trouble. We don't want Arizona helping the federal government enforce federal law. size of this crowd. This is amazing. This should send an, a very clear message, a message that so many people in uh, Washington just can't seem to get, that illegal means illegal. Yeah! The immigration issue is one that really is a national issue. Uh, 30 years ago, the only parts of the country that had a lot of uh, exposure to illegal immigration were the border states on the southwest border primarily, a little bit in New York City, a little bit in California and other places other than the San Diego area. But now, uh, it's been said before, this isn't my quote, but it's certainly true, every state is a border state. And if you think about it, that's true. If you look statistically at the number of illegal aliens state by state, uh, it's extraordinary. Uh, the state of Kansas uh, has, it's estimated, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60,000 uh, illegal aliens. The state of Missouri, it's estimated a little less, around 45,000. Uh, so there's a very significant number of people uh, who are in the country illegally, who are competing for jobs with U.S. citizens, and who may be involved in certain crimes, and that may come to people's attention. 